Hello, hello, hello. Time for another Wednesday art snack. All right, so today I want to talk to you about your workspace. Everybody is working from home and uh, your home is your studio. The park is your studio. Wherever you paint is your studio. You don't need uh, an official studio to have a studio. Sorry, my hair is doing some crazy things over here and it's very distracting. <laughs> That's okay, because I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so you can see my desktop. And we don't have to look at my crazy hair. Okay, so this is literally my desktop. Um, it is uh, where I paint and my computer is right there uh, up on the shelf. And so it's a really, even though I've got a great big studio to paint in, um, when I'm doing my classes, everything sort of has to be here. This is my, my um, video studio, really. So we've got my desk, I've got, you know, a light up here, I've got a webcam right here. Um, and everything has to be very compact. So when I, I hear you say you don't have enough space to, to get comfortable and work, I get it. So I'm gonna show you a couple of, of things that, uh, that might help. And it, please ignore the paint on my fingernails. Um, so first of all, when I'm using this as a desk for my, my computer, um, I know this mess would probably drive a lot of you crazy. Um, the first thing, if, if this sort of a mess getting paint on your table is going to drive you crazy, or if it's your dining room table and you don't want to mess it up, definitely put something down. And if you've got like um, a side of a cardboard box, just a piece of cardboard, that is great. Corrugated uh, cardboard. You can just set it down there and use it as a placemat. Um, and I don't have any or else I would demonstrate, but you, you get the idea. Use it as a placemat. Um, if you spill anything, it's going to absorb, you know, whereas if you have, you know, plastic over that plastic, you spill some water and plastic, uh, it's not going to absorb. So it might just roll off the table and onto your nice floor. Um, so we don't want that. So definitely put something down and you can avoid this mess. <laughs> um, the second thing is that I always have, um, I actually got this groovy, let's see if I can switch, if I can just tilt the camera that way. I always have, and you wouldn't always have it if you don't have dedicated painting space, but I've got these nifty little um, cup holders that I've got on my desk. And I've got a container with water in it to rinse my brushes and a container with a little bit of water to rest my brushes in um, so they don't dry out. Um, so that is uh, something you can do if you, especially if you have electronics around um, or a cat <laughs> or small children or something and you're afraid of your water tipping over, you can get something like that. And I will put links for all of this stuff um, below the video so you can investigate for yourself. Um, but those, I was super happy to find those because that is sort of extended my desk space. Okay. Now, a lot of people are painting flat and you just have your canvas flat on the table, which is fine and dandy. Uh, if that works for you. I don't like painting flat. I, well, I do want to do my art journaling, um, but that's sort of a different thing. Um, but it sort of skews your, your view. So, I mean, my camera is skewed right now, so it's, it's a really skewed view, but you can see how it's slightly, the perspective is different. This is the straight on view with the camera. If I lay it flat, it's just a little bit off. So it's kind of nice to prop it up and it's also better for your neck and shoulders if you have it propped up somehow. So you could get one of these tabletop portable easels, which are pretty wonderful. And it just sets up like that. And of course, we're talking about painting small here. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to adjust my camera because it's set for my 
regular setup, which I'm going to show you in a second. Um, but we're talking about painting small, which of course is what you're going to be doing if you don't have a lot of space. This is a nine by 12 canvas. So, you know, I can probably get maybe 18 by 24 with this. If I put this little um, dealie up, if you have a bigger canvas, put this little dealie up, or you can even put your reference, tape your reference picture up there if you want. But these are pretty cool because you can just hold them up and stash them away. And, you know, I would recommend that you have some sort of a bin, maybe like a big storage bin or cardboard box or something for your supplies and you can just stash this in that box along with your um, piece of cardboard when you're not painting. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my brand new, brand new desk painting setup that I'm so excited about. I just got it. I used it for the first time today. And this is a magnetic board. And I was working on uh, we're teaching this, this painting next week. So I have to figure it out before I can teach it to my students. Um, but this is a pretty groovy thing. Uh, it is 30 inches long by I think 14 inches tall. So it doesn't take up a ton of space. I've got my um, palette here, which by the way is an old canvas that I've cut up and I use that as my palette. So I don't spend money on you know, anything like palette paint or uh, what's it called? Palette paper, whatever. Uh, it's good stuff, but this, this works just as well, you know, and it's compact. So I can have this any size I want. And I have magnets to uh, sort of hold it down. Now, if you've been in a class with me on Zoom, you know, anytime you've seen I've, I've had a board but I had paper on it and I had to tape everything to it but this is a magnetic board so I can move things around um, now I've got these crazy strong rare earth magnets not necessarily going to suggest you should do that if you go this route and get a magnetic board um, these things are way too powerful and a little dangerous when you try and separate them. They're so strong that they can break like this one did. Oops, see, I just set this thing near this and it just whoosh, went right to it. So you can smash a finger, uh, but yeah, it breaks into little shards if you're not careful. So I'm not gonna necessarily, re whoops, see, recommend you get any, you know, something this powerful. I actually love them um, because they are so super strong. But again, if you're gonna do this, just be careful. Be careful with these magnets. Um, so what I love about them, so I bought them because of the shape, because I wanted, I knew I wanted a ledge. So this creates a ledge for my painting so it doesn't slide off. And I've got my painting propped up on my, uh, little ledge there that my computer is sitting on. And I actually have, I put little screws in here, which I know you don't want to do anything like that, but you just need something to prop it up on. I just wanted it so it's stationary, doesn't start sliding around. So I've got these magnets for a ledge and I'm able just to take this thing off and stash it someplace when I'm not using it. Nothing falls off. And I'm crazy about that. Um, now I don't paint it like this, but I've got this magnet. See, that's how strong these guys are. It holds this board on there. So when I'm painting on here, I just have it like that and everything is secure. And then I just use these lighter magnets for my reference picture. It's a cool system. I am super excited. Like I said, it's brand new, painted on, on this the first time for the first time today. 
And then when I'm done and I want to work on my computer, I'll just slap this magnet down on it. <laughs> if I can get it off of here, it's so, Ooh, that's how strong it is. You have to make sure your paint is dry, of course, and then that will secure it. And I can stash it against the wall or in a box upright, get it out of the way and all is well. And that's it. That is all I've got for you for today's art tip. Just a tip on painting in small spaces. And if you have any tips to share on how you paint in a small space, please leave them in the comments below. We would love to hear. Um, there's a million ways to go about these things, but we want to simplify, make the painting process easier so it's not a big chore to pull everything out and get painting. All right, that's it. Happy painting. <laughs>